welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing really, really super well. So for today's video, I thought I would do a pound stretcher haul. I nipped two pound stretcher last night. Um, I just wanted to drop in and see if they had any cheap little like snacky lunch bits and things like that. Um, and I ended up spending £12, I'll tell you how much, £12.67 in there last night. So yeah, I thought because I've got so much, I thought I would show you pretty much everything I got. So the majority of it, I'm not going to lie, is food. Um, but they had some really, really good bargains in there. So <clears throat> I thought that I would show you and tell you the prices of things and everything like that. I will tell you that nothing was over £2. Um, so yeah, that was absolutely amazing. Um, I got some really good bargains in there. So yeah, I know quite a lot of you like bargain hauls. So yeah, even though the majority of this is food, I thought I would show you it anyway because it might be interesting to some of you. So yeah, I know a lot of you in really enjoyed my home bargains haul. So yeah, I thought that I would just show you the bits that I picked up in Pound Stretcher. So I've got the receipt here, um, which is very helpful because I don't know the prices of the majority of things. So yeah, I'm just gonna get straight into it and pull things out at random. So, I'm actually going to start with a chocolate flapjack. Um, I have actually eaten a little bit of this, um, but yeah, I was a little bit hungry earlier, so yeah, I thought that I would try it, um, although I did buy it because my boyfriend wanted it as well, so I am going to leave him a little bit and be a nice girlfriend, um, but yeah, this flapjack is hefty, like it is massive. I don't know if you can see, but it's like a big chunk of flapjack. It's really nice. Um, I actually quite like it as well. It's not really, really OT, um, like a lot of flapjacks, but it is very thick and very dense, um, and it's what I like. So it's just a chocolate flapjack. Um, it's not got nuts or anything in it. Um, it's just a standard flapjack with like a chocolate layer. And this was super, super cheap. Um, 29p for this, um, so yeah. My mum also says you have to like watch dates and stuff in like, um, <clears throat> I can't even speak, in um, like cheaper sort of value shops like uh, Home Bargains and Pound Stretcher and that. But this uh, is has got a really good date on it so yeah I picked it up. I will actually go back and get some more of these I think because these are actually really really nice. I mean they're not the best thing for you but... They are really, really, really filling. So yeah, if you're really hungry and you want like a quick snack, then some of these are definitely worth getting. So that was 29p. I was really, really pleased about that. So yeah, I will be getting some more of them because I really got, <laughs> really quite like it. Um, so yeah, I will be leaving the rest of it for Connell though because it was Connell that pointed it out. So yeah, that was 29p. The next thing I have got are these. Now, I am that sort of age where I remember these, having these as a kid, and I absolutely love them. I've had one of these already. Um, it is the Harvest Chewy um, Scrummy Cereal Bars, and I got the ones in white chocolate chip. Now, I remember when I was younger, I was a kid, I used to have the chocolate chip version, just the normal, like, milk chocolate chip. Um, and I saw they had the white chocolate, and I absolutely love white chocolate. White chocolate is not the best chocolate for you. Um, it's probably even worse than milk chocolate. But yeah, they these are so, so nice. If you have ever tried the marshmallow uh, squares bars, they taste and smell exactly like that. Um, <clears throat> they're not as like chewy as that, um, but they are really, really nice. And I just love things like that. Like they have got a little bit of chocolate in them, I think. Um, like milk chocolate maybe. And then they've got like white chocolate chips. But they are absolutely amazing. They're so, so nice. So I picked those up. And they were... Let's have a look. They were a pound. So yeah, you get eight in there. Um, so they're going to be good for like children's lunch boxes and things like that and just like snacking in the morning like I start work um, on some of the days um, 
towards the end of the week I start work at 6am so I have to grab something really quick um because I don't always have time for like a proper breakfast and like at half five in the morning you don't really want to sit down and have a proper breakfast so something like this is really nice so yeah I love them I'll be getting some more of those um the next thing I got was some pasta like little pasta things I'll get them all out um some of these are for Connell as well um I didn't buy them all for me so yeah I've got absolutely loads here um so the I've got some mug shots and then I've got one bachelor's pasta thing so these uh mug shots I've had before really like them they're really quick um just to take to work for something really quick or home if you're not really wanting something very big um they're really really nice I saw that they had a limited edition bolognese pasta flavor um which I thought I'd pick up so I think Connell got two of the bolognese and I got two of the tomato um, and they were three for a pound so I picked up three and Connell picked up three um, so yeah they have the bolognese ones in there at the minute and they also have the standard tomato which is more of the um, like twirly pasta whereas this is like sort of long pasta um, so yeah absolutely brilliant they're really really good they're basically like a pot noodle but you put them in a mug yourself um, if you've never had them and they're just brilliant so they were three for a pound um, so like I say, I got three and Connor got three. And then I picked up this. And I think this one was, I believe, 50p. <clears throat> I believe it was 50p. Yeah, 50p. So this intrigued me so much because I've never seen this flavour in um, like normal supermarkets. And I absolutely love the chicken and mushroom pot noodles. They are so nice. And... I saw this and I thought, oh, it's not got chicken in it because I'm very particular about anything with meat in it. I'm not a big meat eater. Um, so I saw that this was chicken and mushroom flavour and obviously that's the my favourite flavour of pot noodles. I thought, oh, it's just like chicken and mushroom flavour. So I thought I'd pick it up and try it. I've never tried this one before, so I'm not exactly sure what it's going to be like. Um, but like even for like if I'm doing a long shift at one of my jobs I can put it in my locker and just it's something really quick to grab um, And yeah for 50p I thought I'd try it out so yeah that's those And then obviously I've got my snack and stop mug shots um, The next thing I picked up which was actually Connell um, We had some of these last night they were quite nice actually Very spicy but they were nice um pringles spicy barbecue rib flavor i've never heard of the bar barbecue rib flavor before i've never seen them in shops um i've only ever seen my hair's done my head in. i've only ever seen the i think barbecue or not the not the rib flavor there's like another um texas barbecue that's it um he was tempted to pick them up because he used to have them as a kid and he used to love them um and so did i but we thought we'd try these ones <coughs> I would have them again, <coughs> I would have them again, they're really nice, um, but they are very spicy and I do struggle with spicy things, um, if you're wanting like a comparison to sort of spice, they're similar to the Chili Heatwave Doritos or the, um, they do Doritos now where it's like barbecue first then heat, um, if you've ever tried those then they're similar to that. Um, but they're really really nice, so yeah just a standard pot of Pringles but we had a fair amount last night um but yeah they were really nice and i think they were £1.25 now they were on offer and obviously i know you can buy pringles in like main supermarkets and stuff when they're on offer for a pound but i just thought i'd pick them up um connor picked them up and i says yeah just chuck them in um we haven't had chris in a while we used to have like a chocolate drawer like a treat drawer um but now we're trying our best to like not to have a drawer and every so often just buy something as a treat so yeah <clears throat> he got pringles the next thing I got was, or oh, I treated myself to a packet of biscuits. Now, I've been on a chocolate ban for a while, and recently I've had chocolate, so it's not really been a ban. Um, but I was determined to cut biscuits completely out of my diet, um, and I haven't had biscuits for about two months, like proper biscuits for about two months. Um, so I thought I'd get a cheap packet of biscuits and just treat myself. Um, so I said to Connor, which ones would you like? Because you can share them with me because I'm not going to sit and eat a full packet of biscuits in a full sitting. Um, 
so we decided on custard creams i absolutely love custard custard creams they're gorgeous them and bourbons i love bourbons as well they're really nice so yeah just custard creams just standard cheap custard creams and they were 29p, so you literally can't go wrong for a packet of biscuits. The next thing I got, I bought all of this, but some of it is for Connell. Um, he picked up, again, some paprika nuts. Um, so, yeah, I don't know whether he wanted them for work or what, but I will not be eating these because I do not like any form of nut. So, yeah, he will be eating these on his own. Um... But yeah, they look um, they look nice, but because they're not, I just won't eat them. Um, but I love paprika flavouring, so yeah. They have like loads of different ones on the back. They have barbecue, onion, cheese and onion, and wasabi. Um, so if you're into that kind of thing, then yeah, paprika nuts. How much were those? The paprika nuts were... one pound so yeah not bad for a, for a packet of those never seen that kind of thing it's to be honest the packaging something like i like would normally associate with like um a foreign supermarket so yeah never tried that kind of thing but yeah hopefully he likes them the next thing i got which i'm so excited about because i thought you wouldn't be able to get these in the uk um a while back we um took Connell's mum and dad um, to the airport because Connell's stepdad lives in Germany or doesn't live in Germany but he's from Germany and his family's in Germany so yeah long story short um, Connell's mum had these um, mento sweets and I love the original mento sweets but when me and Connell first met a <laughs> funny story um, we had a packet sorry if you could hear that um we had a packet of the mint mento, uh, men, mentos, I think the mentos, um, and I nearly choked on one because he made me laugh that much that I nearly choked on one and I nearly swallowed it whole. And if you ever know mentos, they are fairly big, um, but Connell's mum had these and he sa she said that um, she got them in the... Su uh, the supermarket or in the airport at Germany um, so I thought oh it's going to be like that kind of flavour that you can never get anywhere um, and I saw them in Pound Stretcher so they are the Mentos Shakies and they have strawberry shake flavour, banana shake flavour and peach shake. Now I've never tried the banana but I have tried the strawberry and peach because we had a couple in the car on the way um, and they are so so nice like I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of like the original fruit mentos um I just think they're like just standard they're not bad like I don't mind eating them um but they're not like really really nice um we're just kind of like standard fruity sweets but these are so so nice and I love anything like milkshake flavor um so yeah absolutely love those had to pick those up and they were a pound I remember those were a pound um so yeah I'm so happy and you actually get five rolls in there Oh wow, I thought you got four. Hmm. Five rolls for a pound. <laughs> um, so yeah, I picked those up. I got some boring cleaning bits um, because I needed some. So I got this, which is the Easy Sink and Pipe Unblocker Tough on Grease Hair and Soap Scum. Now, absolutely delightful, but as most of you guys know, I am upstairs in the loft and I have an ensuite to myself. Um, so I have to keep on top of the cleanliness and everything of my shower. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, I have hair that tends to fall out in the shower and um, sometimes the drain can get a little bit blocked with hair and soap and all that kind of thing so sometimes it just needs a really good clean out obviously I take the drain off and actually like unclog it myself like obviously I take the hair out I don't just shove a load of this down it um but yeah every so often like every month or something I'll have like a deep clean I'll clean my drains um but there is a product that is a grease and hair unblocker like drain unblocker that I use quite a lot I can't remember what brand it is um, but it comes in like a little black bottle with a uh, a blue label 
and I don't know if you can get it everywhere, I think it might just be in the, in the UK, I'm not sure, um, but it is so expensive for like a little bottle, which they recommend you put the whole bottle down in one go, um, is about three or four pound in a supermarket and it is ridiculously expensive for what it is. So I saw this and it said grease and hair, um, sink and pipe and blocker so I thought wow this is like a standard size of like a bleach bottle um and this is gonna last me a long a long while more than what I normally get um so this is this was a pound um so I I literally thought oh for a pound I'm just gonna try it out if it's not very good do you know what I mean it's it'll act as bleach or it'll act as you know something that makes it smell nice I'm not sure um but yeah if that's good I'll definitely be going back and buying some more of that because I cannot afford every so often to buy like three or four pounds worth of like one drain on blocker um so yeah I mean it is good the one that I buy um it really is quite effective but it's so expensive um and you would expect something like that to last you ages but it doesn't um, and then I just got a standard bleach because I really needed a bleach so this is just the fresh I think, <laughs> extra thick bleach in citrus, um, and this was just 50p, I believe, um, yeah, 50p, so, yeah, cheap, I mean, to me, bleach is, like, just bleach, like, there's no, like, real certain brands that you need to get that are better than others, like, bleach, all different types of bleach do the same job, so I just get the cheapest one, um, so, yeah. And then I got a, another cleaning product because I have been wanting to try one of these for absolutely ages and a lot of people who do spring cleaning, like speed cleaning videos on YouTube um, always use this product and it's Sephora. Um, I'm just having a look to see how much it is. It was a pound again um, and it makes 4.8 litres and I thought that was brilliant. Um, so essentially what it is, it's an antibacterial disinfectant. So if you've never heard of this product before or you, you've never used it or you've never watched any videos on YouTube regarding it, um, basically what you do is you put a cap full of this because it's like pure, um, pure cleaning stuff. You can't just use it on its own to wipe surfaces and that. So use one cap full which is 10 millilitres to make 400 millilitres and you mix it with water um, and essentially what it is is you can mix that with water as long as you mix it with water you put it in like a spray bottle or just put it like on your surfaces and stuff and wipe it wipe it round and it's basically just a disinfectant like it stops all the like crap on your surfaces and it's just like it works like a normal spray um, which I thought was really really good um, and then if you want to use it undiluted um, you can use it in the uh, drains in the drains yeah the drains the toilets and sinks and things like that um so yeah obviously I wouldn't recommend it using it undiluted for cleaning because it's not that kind of thing you do have to dilute it down um with hot water but yeah there are loads and loads and loads of different um fragrances I'll read them out um they only had some of them in the shop the ones they had in the shop was linen fresh lavender uh citrus fresh rose and springtime but these are the rest of them that they have so they have bouquet uh cherry blossom country garden hyacinth i think um hyacinth maybe uh rose summer bouquet and sweet pea so they have so many different types i'll, I'll show you quickly what it's like it's just a concentrated disinfectant it comes like this um and then obviously you mix it with water to clean your sides and things like that and you can put it in the sink with just like a, like fill the sink up with boiling hot water and then just put a cap full of this in and just leave it um and it makes your room smell really really nice as well so i got the springtime scent I asked Connell, I like smell all of them and I asked Connell, I was like, oh, which one should I get? I was torn between this one and lavender, but Connell hates the smell of lavender, so I ended up going for springtime, um, because he would probably kill me if I made my whole room smell of lavender, so yeah, really, really like this, it's beautiful, so I can't wait to try it and see what all the hype is about. Um, and then the last thing I bought was a mug. Now, I don't need any more mugs. I've got so many mugs. Um, I never used to be a mug person because I never used to drink hot drinks at all. But at the minute, I've really been enjoying the Skinny Latte, um, like, powder sachets. And they are so, so nice. So I have been 
uh, using my mugs. So yeah, I saw this mug and I really, really liked it. So I thought even if I don't keep it in the house, I could take it to work because I have coffees at work um, and I can have like my own mug. So I really like the quote on this and this is the only reason why I bought it really. But it, it says, happiness is not a destination, it's a way of life, uh, which I really like. I mean, my mum, my mum, we came back yesterday and my mum was like, oh, what have you bought? Sort of thing, like, show me what you've bought. Um, we showed her and she's like, you've got another mug. You've actually bought another mug. You don't need another mug. Um, but yeah, I really, really like mugs. I've got an obsession at the minute. Every time I see a cute mug, I have to buy it. Um, for Christmas, uh, for Christmas last year, Connell actually bought me um, a Laura Ashley mug or two Laura Ashley mugs. Um, they're matching, they're like big foxes. Um, they're not the easiest to drink out of. Like to me, they're more of like um, a sentimental like piece. I don't use them very often um, to drink out of, but like when we do, it's like a treat. We'll like have a hot chocolate together or something. But something like this is just really nice to like take to work or anything like that. So I just thought every time I read that, it's gonna make me feel really good so yeah that was a really nice mug and the mugs in there they do have some really nice mugs in there actually this was £1.50 for the mug itself but you can buy three for three pounds so essentially if you buy three you get in one free um so yeah really really good idea so yeah I really like that mug and that was everything I picked up in Pound Stretcher. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a massive thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I really hope that you all enjoy my previous video which was my what I got for my 21st. Um, so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed that video if you've watched it and if you haven't then catch up on it because yeah, it's been a long time since I've filmed uh, but I'm determined to get back into filming more videos so yeah I really hope you enjoyed this one I really have hope you have a good week and weekend and I will see you guys really 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 soon in my next video